Hi, welcome to EdTech Moment. I'm Bill Selleck, and today I'm going to walk you through Google Docs. We're going to talk about collaborating and sharing documents inside of Google Documents. I want to give you a few examples of what you can do to share documents. If I start off with one that is not shared, by just selecting it, I have a few choices. That little plus person, if I click on that, it's going to allow me to share it with whomever I want. So if I want to share it with Tim McKean, my good friend and co-host, I just type in Tim, select Tim. Now Tim can either edit it or view it. I have a couple choices. Also by default, it will email them. You can add a message if they're not expecting it. So hey Tim, help me out with this one. Save and share, and then Tim is going to be able to actually edit that with me. I can click Done, and now Tim has access to this. If I come back to the Share icon, by default it's private, but I can change that from private to anyone with a link. They can edit it if you want, so if you want to just post, hi, here's the document, click on this and you can edit, then anyone with that link, so you know, don't put it public if you want uh, everyone in the world to be editing it. Um, that's going to allow anyone with that link to edit it, and now it gives you that link. You can easily share that link, and if you see someone editing it with this link, they're not logged in, and it'll show up as anonymous user. So if you want to keep track of your students or your other collaborators, you don't want to do it this way. You want to keep it private and then invite them one at a time. Let me give you a couple examples of what else it could look like. This is for my EDUC 448 class. All of us work on this one document together. We're taking notes for the standards. If I click on share, this is what it's going to look like within the document. So these are all the people that I have invited to it. I'll show you a couple more examples. Here's a grade book. This is something that I share with my EDUC 514 students. If I click share, you'll see just one person has it. This is from Patty, so she has actually two e email addresses she wants, but you notice she's only view, not edit, because I don't want her to edit her gradebook. Simple enough, we're early in the quarter, so it's okay to share that. And finally, here is the granddaddy of them all, the big one. This is several people collaborating and you can see all these different people can edit. And there's more than just typing together. The great thing about Google Docs is that you can collaborate in real time. So as someone else is typing, you would actually see them typing this. They have different colored cursors, and as long as they're logged in, you'll get to see who is typing what when. But it's not just let me type. You can also have conversations on the side, and this is my favorite example from that. Here's it's essentially a thread discussion. You just select what you want and then if you right click on it, Apple people control click, you can comment on it. That's what these are. These are comments and if you click on that it's going to walk you through and highlight where we're talking. A few classroom applications for Google Docs. If your students have access to the internet they can get on Google Docs and they can actually take notes together. If you post this up on top of uh, on a projector, you can have 20 people taking notes at once, and you'll see 20 cursors and 20 people typing. It's it's pretty incredible. Uh, it's a powerful way to take notes and share notes together. And those notes don't just live on that person's hard drive; they're shared up on Google Docs. So anytime anyone edits that one document, everyone has access to those changes. That's that's huge. That's really powerful. If you collaborate with another teacher and you want to write lesson plans or write anything together, you want to write a book together, this is a great way to, in real time, not having 20 different copies of something, just one copy that's always up to date, you can work on something together. And finally, I give you that example in my EDUC 514 course, you can share a grade book. As always, visit our website, edtechmoment.com, for more tutorials about Google Docs and other variety of tools to help you out. Check us out on our YouTube channel, and you can always email us feedback at edtechmoment.com, or if you want to just email me, bill at edtechmoment.com. Thanks for taking a moment.